So say you wanted to ride in luxury. Of course, you could go with the generic options of Beamer, maybe a Benz, maybe even a Lincoln. But what if you wanted to be different? Today, we're gonna introduce you to something a little unique, and that is the Lincoln Blackwood. Well, hello everybody. This is Chris and Reese of SW Motorsports. Today will be our first day, maybe last, who knows, unless you guys like the stuff, will be of us doing a review on a vehicle. True, true. We are not reviewers by any means, but we'll give it a good shot because we couldn't pass off the opportunity to do a Lincoln Blackwood. Yeah, now, Blackwood from Lincoln. Yes. Now I'm sure not many people know about it, but it is, in my honest opinion, an experimental concept that probably shouldn't have hit the production. It. Yep. And I'm not saying nothing to knock Lincoln. It was a good attempt. It was a very, very interesting it's attempt. It's well put together. It is. It is for sure. As you guys can kind of see, we'll give you guys a little quick pan around it. It does look really nice. So essentially, it is a Ford F-150 with the luxurious bits and stylings. Of the Navy. Yes. And it doesn't look too bad. It's very. It's a very, very unique look for the it's car. It's not ugly. It's not. No. It makes you look again and be like, what is this? This one's not bad. It's, it's more yeah. of a concept car, yes. in my eyes, than it is a, 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 a pickup truck. Yes. And we'll show you exactly why, starting from the back to the front. So this black one's not your typical pickup truck, unfortunately. As you can kind of tell with the seams in the back here, it doesn't open in your conventional tailgate way, like this. It's motorized to open upward and you have to actually unlock the tailgate with a lever back here in a I think it's a Dutch barn door style apparently yes. and there's actually one right here to unlock this side and one on the side to unlock the other side the cool thing about it is it's black on this side and wood on that side that is interesting now if you guys look in here you see that there's the stainless steel stylings and the LED lights in the back of this pickup and if you guys also notice, it's actually carpeted back here. So I don't know what you want to haul back here, but you don't obviously want to mess up your carpet. You don't want to have to deal with rip carpet, rip anything, or even maybe dinging or denting your stainless steel, or even breaking your LED lights. It's not really a, tr a truck, if you really think about it. Unfortunately, it's not a truck, but it's a very, very interesting design. And the way it looks is kind of futuristic, in my opinion. It looks really, really interesting. Yeah, it was definitely more, like I said earlier, it's a concept. concept yep. uh, they got little cuppies here. That's true. I don't really know what you use them for, but it's there. They're you available. Put stuff in it. And they open very weirdly. You have to press the button down, turn it, well, yeah, turn it, and then open it. It's, it's just a little, little weird. Just a, just a. Now, that is the tailgate on the back of this Lincoln Blackwood. They have only made a total of 3,000, I think it was 3,327, give mm -hmm. or take. Yeah. And according to our resources, there is apparently less than 300 actually driving on the road today. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that kind of makes this car somewhat of an actual rarity. Is it? And a rarity concept, I mean, it only had a one year run back in 2002. Yeah. They were gonna make, I think, 10,000 annually. But they didn't. But yeah. <laughs> Dealers didn't want them, the public didn't want them. Somehow we did, so we have. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> and I will take you guys to the inside of this car just to show you exactly how luxurious it is on the inside. So as you guys can kind of see from the inside here, there are leather seats. It is heated and AC seats here, and they actually have lumbar support as well, so that way you can get, you know, fix your back and things like that. Now, the only option that actually, you know, you had to actually ask for was the GPS from the factory right down here. That was an option, I think, I don't remember exactly how much it was. So that was actually the only option from factory that you could actually ask for on this on this black one. Now, I'm not gonna say there's not many options to ask for because apparently it already comes with heated and AC seats, which is kind of the top line back in 2002. And there's plenty of room in the back as well to fit however many people you need. Up to five. Up to five, yes. Now, as you can kind of see, it does have its forward bits in the front as well. Now, as you can kind of see, it still has your same Ford infotainment and other bits as well. It has the radio, the AC, 
buttons and everything down here and it also has the same turn signal bits and everything else it's literally a ford underneath it just has lincoln badges and some lincoln aspects of it as well there's one thing that's very interesting about this blackwood and is that the doors are ridiculously heavy and i'll show you right now by trying to open this door And actually, I had to pull that a little harder than I thought just to open it. I didn't think it was going to be that hard to open a second time, actually. But they are actually very heavy. On to the back. All right, so back here you have your rear climate control where you can actually set the speed of the fan and exactly where you want it to go. And also, you actually have volume back here to set if you actually have headphones right down here of where you want to set uh, how loud you want the radio to be. It's not too bad for your rear passengers. They actually get a little bit of say in things. And you also have extra cup holders right down here, which is really, which is really interesting. It's a very, very nice spot where they could put that. Now, onwards to the engine. Now the Blackwood actually comes equipped with a 5.4 liter V8, pumping out 300 horsepower on this baby right here. I think it also did have other options for engines. It had a 4.2 and a 4.6. But since it's the fully loaded option, you gotta get the biggest engine possible. This is true. This is true. And it also actually rides on an older version of air ride suspension. So that way it gives a smoother, luxurious ride for a truck as well. It's a lot smoother than the F-150. It is basic. That's true. That's true. Well, as for a pickup, it's not bad. So according to some uh, research, the payload it can only do is 1,200 pounds, which kind of maxes it out with uh, the amount of people in it. And that's, fully loaded. Yeah, that's very unfortunately true. Um, this thing is actually really interesting to look at and it's very nice in my opinion but it unfortunately was experimental and really a concept car that unfortunately failed during its it time. It does look good though. It does a, look good. I would say it's a crossover of the full-size SUV, the Aviator, mm -hmm. and also a pickup truck. Yes. And if you want to see one, Google one or look at this movie. Yes. Now I believe this will wrap up our little overview of the concept car that never was. The experimental vehicle that shouldn't have been. The cool thing is, they're the only people to make a concept car and sell it. That's true. That's true. 3,000 of them. That's interesting. Why can't the rest of you do that? Come on. We're no. interested in it. Yeah. Let us have it. Anyway. Wrong car. Yes. We'll see you guys next time on some more SW Motorsports. Let us know in the comments below if you guys do like car reviews, and then maybe we'll do some more. We'll do. Yeah. See you soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. Over here. And the subscribe button. Over there. And the bell for Find notifications. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.